Oh. <laughs> it's one thing to like talk to someone online, but it's a it's a whole other thing to meet them in person, especially with this kind of context. My heart is like warm with excitement and also I'm super nervous. Illy Nation just dropped her new video and we learn a little bit more about the story. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what really happened and what also might be able to help you too if you can relate. is up everybody this is chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel my channel is all about mental health and what i like to do is pull different topics from the youtube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being and i am also going to make another video after this video not sure if i'm going to release it tonight or in the morning tristan's probably gonna tell me in the morning but anyways i'm going to do another video um, titled Inside the Mind of Harris or her ex-boyfriend or whatever because there's there's some things that I want to talk about that I'm not going to touch on in this video. But anyways, subscribe, notification bells on, that video will be coming soon. So yeah, for those of you who aren't caught up to speed, Illy Mason just dropped her, her last video, 2.5, and I think what she was saying on Twitter is this is the final video. She was going to do a part three, but she's just going to leave it at this at 2.5 and she wants to move forward, which which I think is awesome. I think that's great. And like she gained a subscriber out of me. I want to check out some of her other videos. I haven't even checked out her other videos, which I'll probably do this week. But it seems like there's a lot we can learn from just her, her experience just growing into the, you know, awesome young woman that she is. But anyways, in this video, she met up with um, a young woman by the name of Holly, who was apparently Harris's quote unquote ex-girlfriend, right? And we learned a little bit more about this. So the first thing I want to talk about is Illumination and Holly meeting up and discussing these things. Like, you guys, I cannot stress enough to you. Some of the best therapy you will ever get is just finding someone who has been through your experience, all right? This is why we have the Discord server. This is why we have the Facebook group, okay? These are other people who have been through trauma or depression or anxiety or addiction or ADHD. And we have a community built so you can connect with other people. Like Illumation and Holly didn't feel so alone when they bonded over this experience, right? And this can be very, very therapeutic. So always down in the description below, there's a link to the Facebook group as well as the Discord server. Just come in, hang out, talk to people. If you're going through something, you can message people, all that stuff. Just find some support. And I will also be linking all of the resources that Illumation links to so if you're somebody who is currently in an abusive relationship or need help like make sure you check out those links down in the description and then that's when he was like oh I'm sorry he would and then he just went on this like self pity just like just with that same like fake number like within that conversation yes the dots and the dashes right above it oh, I'm sorry. yeah and he was just like I'm sorry, you caught me. This is my true nature. <laughs> yeah, he was like, this is my true nature. And like, I remember reading some of your chat logs and he would just be like, I'm just pathetic. All right, so let's start unpacking this with this clip right here. So on Harris's end, like, this is something that I want all of you to watch out for if, you know, you're looking for red flags of being in an abusive relationship or whatever is, is when, when somebody who's toxic or abusive is trying to, have you accept them for who they are. I've gotten some comments recently, like people don't like the way that I use the term broken people. Like we're all broken. Like literally every person on this planet is broken. It's just like, are you working on yourself to fix yourself? That's, that's the only question. Like there's no denying that everybody's broken in their own little special way. But here's the thing, like you do not have to accept that person the way they are, okay? And this is not saying that people should never be dated um, because I know a lot of you get offended by this and you say, well, well, I, I deserve love too. Yeah, you absolutely do, but you need to make the choice to change. But what they're talking about with Harris is they'll try to manipulate you and say, hey, this is just the way I am. This is just the way I am. And I made a video about Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash not that long ago where I asked, How, have any of you been stuck in a relationship way too long waiting for the other person to change? Like, don't do that. Like. I, I've been wanting to make a video just of my thoughts on individual therapy versus couples therapy. So if you would like me to make that video, make sure you let me know down in the comments. But real quick, spoiler alert, I believe in individual therapy. I believe individuals need to heal on their own. But anyways, if you have somebody that you're just starting to see, or even if it's a friend or family member, just say, this is just the way I am. Like, that's cool. You can accept the way they are without keeping them in your life. I haven't talked about this. At the time I had two really good high school friends. I still keep in touch with one of them. Um, it was Emily and Sarah. I would cross check with 
Sarah because she had been through that and I'd be like, you know, she's a, she's a good friend of mine. She would know what is abuse and what isn't. Um, but like, I, I, I'm sure she holds a lot of like, oh God, like why did, why wasn't I more direct with Alyssa? That was really interesting how Illymation like said, like she feels that her friend might even feel a little bit guilty, you know, because I have friends who feel like that with my addiction and I have friends who still hold guilt to this day. And it's six and a half years since I got sober that they wish they could have done more. They wish they could have done this. And to be honest, like that's one of the reasons I have this channel because most people are doing the best that they can with the knowledge that they have. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't know how to help. So I hope you can go through my catalog and learn how to help somebody. Like I have a lot of people who subscribe to my channel who do not struggle with mental health issues, but they know somebody with mental health issues and just gaining an understanding of what to do is helpful, right? But anyways, if you're a friend of somebody, like don't hang on to that guilt. Like I'm letting you know, like at the end of the day, especially since I work with drug addicts and alcoholics, we have to make our own decisions. You know what I mean? And all we can do is hopefully inspire a change, which is where this next clip comes in. Like I remember before I flew out, before any, before I met Harris in person, we were sitting in the car and we had just been like hanging out after school. Harris is blowing up my phone and she turned to me and I remember she was like, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, by the way. And I was like, yeah, I know. And she, she was like, I don't think you know. I would probably still be with Harris if it wasn't for them. So what that is right there, what that is right there is what we call an informal intervention, okay? So an informal intervention, no matter what it is, it could be drugs, it could be alcohol, it could be helping somebody get out of an abusive relationship, it could be helping somebody just like doing something with their lives, right? You have no idea how powerful it is what Illymation's friend did, where they were just, where she was just basically saying like, you know you don't have to deal with that, right? Like, you know you don't have to put up with that, right? Like, that is an informal intervention. Like, sometimes just somebody planting in this, planting the seed in your brain or in someone else's brain that you don't have to live the way that you're living anymore can just completely change because I made, um, in another video I made about alienation, I talked about learned helplessness, right? We get stuck in this idea that we are living in the only possible that way that we can live. Drug addicts and alcoholics deal with this a lot. People in abusive relationships deal with this a lot. People with depression, anxiety, they deal with this a lot. The way our brain works, it sticks us in the problem. That's why I always say we need to talk about the solution because our brain says, this is the way things are, this is where I am, I'm stuck, nothing's gonna change. Like, science has proven neuroplasticity, which means our brains are constantly evolving and constantly changing. This is why I will always tell you to your face that you are never, ever, ever hopeless. I've seen in the comments down below people saying, well, uh, I've been in this situation, I've been in that situation, I've heard some really sad stories that you've shared about friends that were in abusive relationships and all of that, but you guys, like, if nothing else, like, please join the support group or call one of the numbers that are down in the description below. But if you are somebody who knows somebody who is in an abusive relationship or struggling with mental illness, just remember, an informal intervention, just offering the idea that they don't have to live that way anymore might completely change their life. First of all, I thought I was over it. I thought I knew I thought I knew everything about him. I thought I knew his intentions, and I didn't. <laughs> it's really easy to take advantage of someone, and what's not easy is confronting these emotions. This is interesting to me, and I just wanna bring this up first before I talk about confronting your emotions. Like, I wonder if it was beneficial to Illymation, you know what I mean, to go back in there and learn more about this thing. Um, and I don't think there's a right or wrong answer for this. You know, um, sometimes it's just like, for me, I let stuff go. Like I, I move forward and I'm like, okay, have I found my closure? Is this, you know, am I good with this? But you, a lot of that comes with being honest with yourself. And I think during this process, Illymation discovered that she wasn't fully healed from this situation. So what she's talking about, which I wanna address, is how she's talking about confronting your emotions, confronting these things. Because a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of us, me, you, everybody, so many people are in this denial, right? I'm okay, I'm fine, nothing's wrong, right? And it's just because you've stuffed them so down underneath that you don't even realize they're still there, but they're manifesting in little ways. They're causing you issues at work. They're causing you issues with your friends. They're causing you issues with your family members, right? So this is why we need to confront those emotions, which I think is beneficial for Illymation. But the last thing I wanna talk about is, I'm kinda curious what else Illymation has done. It seems like she's done a lot of things to heal, but 
I've mentioned this in other videos, like I thought that I healed a lot from my past, but once I did a little bit more work on myself, I realized that I still wasn't living to my, my fullest potential. So I have two recommendations for all of you watching this. If you're somebody who's um, overcoming trauma or just trying to move forward from the past, the first one is this. This book right here um, is called Unfuck Your Brain by Dr. Faith Harper. I did a review on this a long time ago. I'll link it up in the info card so you can check it out. But this book is amazing. This book, it's, it's for everybody. Like, if you struggle with anxiety, you need this book. But a lot of what this book is based on is overcoming trauma. You'll learn a lot about how the brain works, how trauma works. But Dr. Faith Harper is hilarious too, all right? Very short book, very easy read. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. But that's something that you can do on your own. Now, something that I've wondered throughout this entire series with Illymation is, has she gotten therapy? Has she gotten therapy yet, right? There's so much healing that we can do on our own, but sometimes we need to work with a professional, all right? So if you are somebody trying to overcome your trauma and if you have the resources, if you have the resources to get therapy, please just give it a try. Like, talk to your doctor, see if they can refer you to a therapist. Talk to your insurance company, see if they can refer you to a therapist. Somebody who uh, specializes in trauma, especially, will be extremely beneficial. If you are interested in doing online therapy, BetterHelp Online Therapy helps support this channel. There's an affiliate link down in the description below. And what you'll do is you just sign up, you fill out a questionnaire, and they'll link you up with a licensed therapist who specializes in whatever you need help with, all right? But just remember, you do not have to live the way that you are living anymore. Again, there are links down in the description for resources as well as the Facebook and Discord groups. All right, but anyways, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below, like if, especially if you're somebody who's overcome your past traumas, like what has helped you? Has connecting with others who have been through that experience, have those helped you? Like let's have a conversation down below. All right, but anyways, anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because remember, I'm making a follow-up video really, really soon, all right? And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, click or tap on the Patreon icon right there and you get a ton of exclusive content. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.